Hey everybody. So now that passkeys support attestation with iOS and Android, we're going to take a look at everything and really see how the whole user experience everything unfolds and just kind of let's just kind of check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log in with my account. One thing I don't like here is even though my off string says only allow passkeys, it still makes you put in a password just to say, oh, that's not good enough. So as you see here, more info required, right? Cool. So you're going to hit next and you're going to see what happens. So you can see here is so at first it's going to challenge me an authenticator, which is fine. So first it's done that and you see it's taken you into your my sign ins page. So now it's saying, okay, we want you to create a passkey and authenticator. Great. Hit next. You will notice here is that there's actually a little option here. If you need to add your account and authenticator, which is kind of cool. I just want to show you real quick. But so now inside of here, what you're going to do next, it also shows you here. We'll take a look at this too. So if you need to actually add your account, it kind of lets you do that. But you know, it's fine. Okay, so now it wants me to go ahead and create that passkey. So I'm going to pause here and we're going to switch over to the iPhone. So you can see here, I'm now on my iPhone. So I'm going into Authenticator, and I have to tap my account, tap the gear, then I'm going to click Create a Passkey Preview. So it takes you here, let's create your passkey, hooray. So we're doing that. Okay, so first it wants us to finish it on the browser. So it just has me here finishing this right in the browser on my iPhone. It's a little confusing, but we're getting there. I'm gonna sign in. So it shows you here, there's a problem processing your request, which kind of makes this all pretty complicated and difficult, right? Now that we set up and create a tap, let's see if we can do this now. So I'm gonna go to my Synergy account, hit the gear, hit create a passkey. So it's asking me for my temporary access pass, so I'm gonna type that in. I'm gonna hit next, let's see how we do. See, it's doing a little face ID, which is great. Here we go. It says pass key created. We're going to hit continue. And so now we have our pass key and we're all good there. And now we're going to see what happens when we go back to the other side here. So you can see here that it's asking me to complete my step in Authenticator, which I've now done. I've created my pass key. I'm going to hit next. Let's just try this again because the pass key was just recently created. And this is why we test. So we're going to go here. And now it's asking me to sign up my passkey. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit iPhone or iPad. From here, I'm going to go ahead and scan. Ask me to sign up my passkey. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit iPhone or iPad. From here, I'm going to go ahead and scan. It says my device is now connected. Do I want to sign in my passkey? I'm going to hit continue. It says my device is now connected. Do I want to sign in my passkey? I'm going to hit continue. And then just that simple, I am all signed in. So the main takeaways that we want to kind of take away here, right, are that you do need another authentication method available in order to register the passkey to begin with. So if you're doing this at the very beginning when you're first going through the out-of-box experience and using TAP, TAP will work pretty well. I've seen a little bit of bugginess with TAP, and but overall it does work relatively well. Testing is a whole different situation. But overall, this gives you that experience you're looking for. Not just that, but I also now have attestation.